Hello there, guys. This is me. Well, you know, this may not look like Windows here like you're usually seeing, and that's because I'm running um, a distribution of Linux called Manjaro Linux. It comes with Steam, you know, right installed, and because that makes it a little easier to get certain games like Grand Theft Auto 4 running. Now, the odd thing is that not many people show the most modern kind of way of getting this game up and running. So, once you do have, once you do have like distribution or even Manjaro installed on your on your certain PC, what whether or not you ditched Windows for it or or did a or did the thing did what's needed to do for a dual boot, then once you can head into the settings of Steam, then you then you have to go down here Steam Play. If this isn't ticked already, make sure to tick it here just in case. And also tick this because this is what's gonna help to get this up and running. I I just left that Proton Experimental. You guys can choose whichever you guys want. For me, I just left on Proton Experimental. And as well, I'm gonna tell you guys, you know, a little bit of things that'll help to get this running better t better than Windows. And for me, I I also made sure to partition one of my drives as an ext4 drive to to help this process even more. And then I just move has Steam move the game over from the NTFS um, drive or partition or drive, you know where this was into the ext4 partition of a drive. And you know that that part definitely helps. So yeah, I'm currently moving something as well to the ext4 partition. So once you do all this, sure you can go ahead and launch the game and enjoy it. But I don't. But I'm going to show you some tips to to improve it even more to where you know to where you can get. Uh, you know, so where you can get even more uh, performance out of this game. Um, and so far out of testing, I have I haven't really had any kind of you know ish you know much issues except for in the most de demanding areas. Okay, so I'm gonna purposely right click here, and I'm going to purposely click on browse local files. You guys can just use whichever file explorer, um, you know, click on that, but for me I'd rather just go straight here. Instead of going to game directory, here's a little tip right here. Whichever Proton version you're using, whether it be experiments or whatever, make sure to go inside here and see there's user, like you guys will have like user settings dot sample dot py Make sure to re make sure to rename it to you know user settings, and then for Manjaro you would open up with Kate, with but well, with uh, whichever else kind of Linux distribution you have, uh, just open up s you know open this certain file up within a certain text a text file editor, and make sh and this is another part that helps. Make sure to uh, use a hashtag to to switch off any, any kind of things you don't want it using. Because before it was using, you know, open. It was before using OpenGL to help to help, you know how to convert. It, it was using something to convert DirectX on Direct39 or DirectX9 over to. OpenGL, don't know which version of OpenGL was just converting to that, and I know that Vulkan is the more better, you know, for the for running this game. So what I did is I made sure to look at certain tutorials, and just make sure that that line like this exists within the PY, because this is definitely will help enforce the game to run under Vulkan. And now. 
if you were to go to properties, I'll show you the, com the current command lines I have in. Um, I just have this in to help, you know, something pop up to show that I am using Vulkan. Um, and there is also a command line that could help to enforce it to use Vulkan, but since I make sure in the user settings.py that it has no other choice to, to use on direct uh, directory 9 to Vulkan or DirectX to Vulkan, you know, that I'm good to go. But other than that, um, before I show a little bit of gameplay, um, okay, so, okay, so that's where it's storing my current video. So right here is another, uh, great thing. So, so this I found on a certain website. Uh, and this is a very trustworthy one because I have used it a bit on, uh, you know, this certain compilation. I, you know, I copied its files and put it into GHA4's, you know, directory here. Uh, and once I, and what, hopefully I do remember to, once I'm typing out the description to paste in the URL to the certain website that I got this from and you just had to copy all this and then once you know once it's copied just paste all the files in here and make sure on uh, what you're doing so you have the complete edition hook um, in there and usually um, usually you would have all these sort of mods and trainers installed in when you're when you know when you're j playing it within Windows, and when you want to try it this way in Linux to get even better experience, you know, you know where to put all the stuff. But of course, the next step for me that I'm still yet to figure out is where exactly does Wine or whichever store your certain GTA 4 save data. I want, let's see here, games, I, like I really shouldn't be searching while doing this video, but, well, let me just stop going through this, but, you know what I'm saying guys, so f for now until I figure out where exactly it may uh, put the you know, the directory, because I'm not very sure what a directory is where you would paste in your music here. I have yet to figure that out or see if anyone knows, else knows online and I'll possibly add it as an explanation description or anything or just as a follow-up video. Okay, so assuming you did all these, you know, tips and tricks I've been so far showing you guys of what I've did to get the best experience that I at least know that you can get for this game running in any Linux distribution, but mo but of course you can make it easier on yourself by just installing Manj Manjaro. There's you know there's certain videos online that can show you how to easily install this and as well you know it's dual boot it. I'm going to now hit play. I'm hoping that's not going to cause much issues because sometimes I've been having issues with uh, credit, it's moving content. I'm great. Um, I'm going to hit cancel. And that's on purpose because uh, a lot of times I've been having to force shut down Manjuro because somehow sometimes I've been catching and this is kind of getting me to think to not really download game, download any kind of Windows things of, you know, like to not download any of my Windows games, you know, with Steam, with Steam through, just through this version of Steam. And that's better to just like install the Windows games in your Windows boot and then have them move over. So I'm not very for sure if it's good at all for me to try to 
run this, you know, run GJ4 while having this loop content on. So I'm going to pause the recording of this video and. Oh, shoot. I'm hoping that you guys were able to catch all this. Credits. Uh, great. Someone told me I have to re-record this again.